It's time for Sunday Witch Bits. What's up, guys? We're back. Episode 4 or 5. I can't keep track. I think we know this by now. But we are back for episode 4 or 5. Sunday Witch Bits. And today is a cold winter day where I'm at. Uh, might snow. It might have already snowed. This is pre recorded. So it's going to be a couple hours before I actually upload this. It probably already did snow. In which case, I just put like two days worth of work of getting my snow out of its or my car out of its spot because of all the snow pile up. But uh, I guess we're gonna have to do it again. Anywho, that kind of sucks. But moving on to better news, we have a new question, and let's get right into the video. So this wasn't really a direct question, but this was a conversation between me and my friend. And by the way, if you hear any kind of banging or something, it's my chair. Uh, sometimes my chair bangs into my desk and it makes my my uh, my mic kind of like echo and stuff. Okay, so here's how it went down. One of me and my close boys from uh, middle school, uh, elementary school actually, because for some reason our school counted sixth grade as elementary school, which at least in the US, most of them count sixth grade as middle school. So me and my boy are talking the other day and we're kind of just talking about life. We're both 18 and you know we're young adults so it can be a confusing time for a lot of us you're transitioning from being a kid and obviously you still are a kid even at 20 you're still a kid you know until you have your stuff together obviously it's a rough period for a lot of people because a lot of people can get lost a lot of people can get scared of what comes in life and it's just very fuzzy especially when people like to push ideals onto you like you must go to college you must carry on the tradition of the family you must do this and that's not exactly fair to you because you're not them and they shouldn't live through you regardless though before i even get into discussing it the main topic that we were talking about was college and kind of just stuff about life in general like big decisions and i just want to say right off the bat that i truly do believe that in a lot of cases you can make it without college more than what people would say or would expect and i especially believe this if you live in the u.s because over here man college is just so overpriced like man i was paying ten thousand dollars for two years for an art degree and if you guys know anything about art and college first off art degrees are almost useless art art people that are involved in art like employers and stuff they want to see a portfolio they don't care about your degree a piece of paper means nothing when this guy can draw way better than you. It doesn't matter if you pass the classes. And on top of that, it was only an associates, which made it even worse. So I decided to drop out. And while I don't exactly advise everybody to do this, because I feel like if you don't have a clear cut plan, then it's going to be really difficult to you. I dropped out because my plan was to go for a real estate license and then try to look for some type of job in that. Continuing to do, I actually work DoorDash right now. It's like a mobile food ordering app. Continuing to do DoorDash, you know, continuing to invest in stocks and make my own side income. But my main income, I eventually wanted it to become real estate. So I dropped out this past December. And what I can say is that it's gone nowhere in the direction I thought it would. And right off the bat, that sounds extremely negative. But on the contrary, it's actually the complete opposite. I talked about this before with the passing of my uncle, but it actually brought my family closer together. And through this, I was able to actually talk to a cousin who got me a job now as an insurance agent. And I'll be making a substantial amount of money compared to what I would have been making just doing DoorDash, investing in stocks, other little ways to make money and working towards a real estate license. And I am extremely grateful and I'm blessed to be able to live through this and have this at my disposal you know it's such a blessing to be able to drop out and pursue what i want to pursue because i'm still going to go for my real estate license but it's amazing that i was able to find this opportunity with my you know my cousin and getting this job that's going to help me support myself which also this is also going to affect my youtube and my streaming because now i'm going to be streaming full-time most likely once i move out pretty soon anyways anyways so i i just want to get personal with that you know i just wanted to explain my own situation how dropping out has affected me you know the blessings that have came my way but generally speaking for most people a lot of people will not have a blessing like that a lot of people will not be able to live comfortably unless if you find some sort of trade if you find your own thing you know like your entrepreneur if you're going for some type of licensing like real estate or sales age or not sales agent um insurance agent you know something like that 
where you can create your own stuff. It's extremely difficult to get by comfortably. And you gotta remember, the word comfortable has fluidity. Uh, there's a, it's a spectrum, it's not yes or no. If you're comfortable, well, specifically for you it is, but it's a spectrum, you get the point. Everybody has a different definition of comfortable. What I really want to advise is that I feel like, so again, I talked about this in my video with death, and I talked about how a lot of people live through generational curses. You know, person A would be a grandpa, for example, who would abuse, abuse person B, who is a father, and now put your shoes in the person, person C, you are the son of the father. And the father has been abused, so what's he gonna do? Abuse you. And are you gonna continue to pass it on to your children, or will you break that cycle and create new and better? And I feel like we can apply this in so many ways, and to apply it to this situation, you know, this question, I feel like for parents to force college onto their student or force an ideal or force a lifestyle is extremely unfair. I feel as if that if you truly know that you have a plan or that you can make something work, go for it, man. I, I will never tell you to straight up disrespect your parents or whoever is in charge of you in your life. You, you know, if you're under 18, now, if you're over 18, at the end of the day, they can kick you out whenever. But if you're under 18, I will never advise for you to truly just say F it and go against them. But I want you to be able to stick up for yourself. It, it's all about being realistic. See. I want to be a YouTuber, but that does not mean that I would drop every single job to do this full time because I know that th stuff like this takes time. I got to be realistic with myself. It, it will take time. There's some people that rap for over a decade and they didn't blow up until their second decade. Do you think I have a life uh, the next 10 years to just sit in my mom's house making YouTube videos? No, I have to make this my side thing. So eventually, maybe one day it'll be my main thing. Be realistic. Write down a list of all your goals. Be realistic of what you want to do with yourself. Be realistic of how you can get there. Don't short yourself. Don't tell yourself you can do this, this, and this, when in reality, there aren't even that many hours in the day to cram pack to get that much stuff done. Keep it a buck with yourself. Keep it real with yourself, bro. I think college is something that's just so overrated. I feel like it's something that obviously all profession or not professions, occupations, like something like a lawyer, something like a doctor, something like a vet, something like a surgeon you know something like that requires college but for something that doesn't require college like maybe even a game coder or an artist or a musician you know like college can help you of course you know i'm not denying that college can help you but at the same time the amount of time you're sinking into college the amount of money the amount of effort you could be sinking it into making your skill even better and that's something that i realized you know sitting in zooms paying 10k for just two years 10k and keep in mind i didn't even get any loans or i didn't even get any grants it was all loans so i would have to pay it back with interest which turns the 10k into like 13k it's ridiculous man for an art degree and i just had the realization why am i sinking all these times sitting on a zoom this is useless when instead i can drop out and work towards getting a real estate license. Real estate is something that's secure. Real estate is something that never changes. Obviously, it fluctuates with what's happening in in the market, and you know, with life in general in your area. You know, it depends on where you live and stuff like that. But it's something that's fluid. You can take it wherever you want. You can move to a different state, and you're not bounded by anything. It's something that seems really interesting to me. And the money is good, man. The money is good. And I feel like I'm a people's person. I'm able to talk to people really easily. I'm able to get what I want out of situations a lot. So why would I not go for a job that will help me just enhance my skills and help play off of those skills that I already have? At the end of the day, my message to anybody that's concerned about college, confused, that's scared because their parents want them to get straight A's, but they're barely maintained C's or their parents want them to continue the business, the family business, but you really don't want to because you have your own dream, or your parents want you to become a doctor, but instead you want to become a musician. Man, do what you want, but be realistic. You gotta remember, at the end of the day, once your parents are gone, once whoever's in charge of you are gone, and that's in a sense of like, you know, every, of course everybody dies, you know, once they're dead, or once you move out, whatever it is, you gotta think and sit back. Did I fulfill what I wanted to in my life? Am I fulfilling what I want? You don't live for other people, man. You live for yourself. Stick up for yourself. Stick up for what you believe in. Of course, listen to the criticism and listen to the thoughts of your elders. They're all wise. Even your peers, they can help you out seeing stuff from a different perspective. I know for myself that I wanted to move out and seeing it from so many different perspectives, it helped me 
kind of ground myself just keep in mind of the people you have around you because they will help you a lot but at the same time don't live by what other people say man you have your own needs at once you have your own goals in life so meet them no matter what it takes and if it takes proving a mom or dad wrong or proving a grandpa or grandma wrong then man do it show them that you can make it your way and you can make it work even better than they did and that's not gloating that's taking what you were given and making it 10 times better that's taking that roof above your head and making it 10 times better for your kids man do it for you do it for yourself but also do it for the people around you succeed for yourself and the people around you and do what you want that's my message for you guys for this week shoot me with some more comments and let's get the questions rolling because i need some more um this was actually my last question in my entire feed of questions so if i don't have a question by next sunday i'm gonna start making up topics that i want to talk on myself and just kind of you know ask questions myself that i think i have an answer to you know like kind of in a perspective of somebody else asking a question but yeah so if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like make sure to share this to anybody you think is struggling with the decision of college or becoming an entrepreneur or whatever it is or even skipping out on everything and it's honestly so overwhelming that i can see why some people just skip out on everything and don't amount to doing anything it's overwhelming it's so stressful but breaking it down the right way can make it that much easier that's all for today i'll catch you guys next sunday i appreciate you all love you all stay safe this pandemic is still going on we're reaching almost a year that the pandemic is going on it's insane but stay safe regardless i love all you guys and i'll catch you guys later peace out